If you are playing multiple sports, you need to watch this because I know the life, believe me. Let's get right into it. friends, it's me, Coach Coco, and I love volleyball. So much so that channel, my channel's filled with tips, tricks, hacks, and anything you could ever need to know about volleyball. So, if you are playing multiple sports, congratulations, you're a star. Uh, I know how you feel. You may be feeling exhausted, you may be feeling tired, you feel like your time is always taken up by something, that you don't have a moment to rest. The weekends could be filled with camps and tryouts and you're talking to one coach and one season overlaps into the next. Is all of this just getting to you? I'm so sorry, I just wanted to describe it. But here are some three things that you can do to utilize your time better, especially when you are playing more than one sport. So when I was in high school, I played multiple sports. I did indoor track, I did outdoor track, I did field, I did volleyball, um, all of that at the same time. I even worked a job. So it was a lot of balancing for me, but some of the things that I did really helped me prepare and stay on track, especially when I had so much time that was taken up by athletic sports, academic clubs, and studying. And then when I started getting into my junior and senior year of high school, I had to start focusing on going to college. So some things that I'm gonna share with you in this video are extremely helpful to make sure that you are staying on the right track and that you learn something new. The first thing that you want to do is you want to get a schedule. Scheduling is everything. That means that you wanna take some time out of your day to really know what's going on in your life. You need to pencil down things that are important to you. That means that if you feel like that you wanna look at your nine to five, which you know you guys are in school much earlier than that. So looking at that eight to three, and you know you have practice after that, making sure to schedule time in for you. If you haven't seen one of my other self-care videos, I'm gonna link that here so that way you can check that out. But self-care is extremely important. And self-care means making sure to take care of yourself emotionally, mentally, and physically. And some of those things that I like to do for my self-care is watching TV. I like to exercise, taking a break, taking a deep breath, meditating. So identifying some of those activities can really be helpful, but you want to go ahead and start scheduling. Now, do you have to schedule every single minute of your day? Absolutely not. But you want to schedule in those big chunks of time when you are doing something so you can realize the time that you have free. So if you're in school from eight to three and you know that school time, and then after that from 3.30 to five, you have practice, what could you do maybe from 5.30 to seven, from seven to nine? Making sure that you have all of that time and seeing where the time is, is the first thing and the first step in realizing how much time you have. Number two is to start working on your sleep schedule. I know that I stayed up late when I was in high school. Everybody does it, um, even in middle school. But one of the things you have to start realizing is if you go to sleep on time and you start resting, you'll be able to get up earlier, more refreshed, and be more energized throughout the day. Did you know that individuals who are adults need between seven and nine hours of sleep a night? And even some of you all who are really young, you may need up to 12. That's crazy, right? So making sure that you maximize your sleep schedule is really helpful. So that means going to bed on time. That means setting up a schedule where you can get some sleep. That means taking the time to actually get some rest. That means <laughs> going to bed, having a night routine. Raise your hand if you have a night routine, setting up a morning routine. Getting yourself in these routines can really help inspire you to follow that schedule, especially when you are know, you know you're gonna be tired and you're gonna be doing more than one sport at the same time. Tip number three, making sure that you're not overloading your schedule. If you're playing soccer and basketball and volleyball, and I have some teammates who did that every season they were playing a sport, prioritize what sports mean the most to you and go with those. If you love playing multiple sports, that's a wonderful and that's a great thing, but you have to remember not to burn yourself out. We don't want you to burn out because burning yourself out is just gonna exhaust you. And you don't wanna be exhausted in middle school and high school. So if you know that volleyball is your love and you wanna follow volleyball or soccer is your love, then follow those tracks. Maybe looking to doing some recreational on another time and not having such a full demand as an actual sport 
sport. So just looking into balancing some of those times that you are participating in sport. So instead of going basketball season to volleyball season or volleyball season to basketball season, why not take a break that basketball season and then take some time off? It's important for you to be able to rest and be able to enjoy other things. And the last tip, which is just a additional tip, is talk to your parents or people you live with about maximizing your time. Adults know better than anyone else <laughs> what time scheduling is like. If you need advice from somebody that is close to you, ask someone, ask your coach, hey, I'm playing volleyball and this and club and this, and I'm feeling a little burnt out. Don't wait until it's the last moment when you know you're already burnt before you ask for help. There are individuals in your life that are willing to help you. I'm here to help you. We're here to help you. So make sure you take the time to actually look at your schedule and make sure that you ask for help along the way if you need it. It takes a village. We've all had different experiences and we've learned something else. Your teammate might have some valuable information on what they do to make sure they don't burn out. And your parents or a guardian may have some information from, from that they might have so they don't burn out. But just remember, if you're playing multiple sports, that's a wonderful thing, but just make sure to maximize your time, get some good sleep, schedule your things out in advance, and look for those free pockets of time for self-care. All right, so I hope that this video was very informative, that you learned something new, that it was helpful for you, and that you might invest in a schedule. I have my schedule and I use a happy planner and I love it so much and it has all the stickers and it's super cute. So the happy planner is something that I use to schedule my time. It might be easier for you to schedule on your phone. That's something you could do. I mean, I schedule on my phone most times too. Just do something that works for you. There's a lot of different type of journaling that you could do. Bullet journaling, um, sticker journaling, phone journaling, to-do list, all of that. So experiment with different things. And there's a lot of YouTube videos on YouTube. Experiment with a lot of different ways to keep track of your time. There's not one that's perfect or better than the other, but see what, what works for you. I know for me, my happy planner works for me because I like the stickers and it's cute and it motivates me to journal because I can put like plant stickers and stuff. And I like using my phone because when I'm on the go, I don't want to take my bulky um, happy planner with me everywhere and I can just see a notification pop up on my phone. So just take a moment to take and look at your schedule and see how you can maximize your time. All right, please like, comment, subscribe, and share this with someone who needs it. I'll see you guys next time.